Hey troopers, so I'm getting ready to show you how to assemble your zoetrope. It's a film viewing uh, apparatus or machine. It helps you view these animations like this. Here's one that's already made. Uh, and one that's, this is with the pencil now down here that helps you uh, spin it. Um, let's get started, I'll show you. The first things we need to do is is get our supplies ready. So here it is. So first thing we'll need is of course the uh, Zoetrope viewfinder and wall, uh, otherwise known as the animation strip holder. Then you'll need a base disc. After that you'll need um, the animation strips and, and uh, worksheets. And you'll also need some kind of tape, usually clear tape. Um, does real well and you'll need a brand new pencil one that hasn't been sharpened yet so either these types will do and then you'll also need um, just plain Elmer's glue or school glue um, if you have and can use hot glue gun um, that actually works even better and faster but uh, you can still use the white Elmer's glue you just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry okay that's all you really need to get started on this the first thing we'll do is we'll take this is I believe a 22 inch um, zoetrope viewfinder and uh, and wall. Let's see. First thing we'll do is we're gonna join these two ends together like that. There's no overlapping. Okay, we're, we're gonna put uh, end to end, no gap, but no overlapping. Okay, and we'll we'll tape it up with clear tape here. So, so I'll pull some tape here. There. Take this other side. Loop it around and. Make sure you get it nice and tight, tight fit. There, I got lined up perfectly. And then I'm gonna tape that down. And the leftover tape, I'm gonna go over the top and the bottom. I'll take this, like that. Looks kind of like a crown, right? Then you're gonna take your, your base and what I like to do is take it from the top and place and it's, it should fit pretty snug what you want to do is you start taping uh, opposite sides of this zoetrope so I'm just doing this so you can see where I'm putting it just putting like half of it down here okay and then let's see if I can put it back in there again like that just to get it, just to get it there and then then I can tuck this back in inside like that get my piece of tape ready yeah then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to slip this piece of tape underneath the base here like that just like that there you go see I've, I've got it I've got the base inside of the, the crown as it were right then I'm gonna take that piece of tape that was sticking out and loop it up onto the side of that wall there so, and the more tape you get on there, the easier it gets. So now, I'm gonna go these two opposite sides. Okay, we'll do the same thing again. I'm gonna go under here, go underneath the base. I'll press it down a little bit. Tape it onto the side right here. Right there. And then I'm gonna go opposite of that. Turn it around. Slip it underneath the base. Yeah, no the base try to make sure it fits under there okay good it's fitting under there so now I'm gonna come over here and tape it up on the wall on the outer wall of that view, uh, viewfinder okay and now I've got those four sides which are opposite of each other taped up and so now I'm gonna go in between those and tape those up and if I want to I can do even more than that now it gets really a lot easier and go to the opposite side there we go. and now I've got two more at least if you think it's popping out on any any parts of any uh, any of the sides um, go ahead and put some more tape on there and one more at least right here Just like that. That looks pretty good. There are some gaps in there. Uh, 
know if you can see, yeah, see like that. I think I will add a little bit. I think I'll add a little bit more tape. Here's another technique. Over here. Just put those, lightly put them down in place. And then I'll turn it over. I think there's one opposite of it over here. And one more. Right here. Okay, there's where the gaps. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over. Now I can press down from the inside. Where's that one? Here's another one here. So I can press it down so it stick the tape is forced to stick underneath. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Okay, now, next, we're gonna take our pencil and attach it to the bottom. Okay, this will be our handle. What I've done is I've made a little hole, I don't know if you can see it, right there in the middle, a little hole right there, uh, and placing the pencil right there in the middle. So I'm looking through the hole here, I'm looking through the hole here for that pencil on the other side. Um, I'm going to eventually put glue where the hole is on top and down there. So I'm going to put some glue on the tip. If it drips, it's okay. And I can line it up. There it is. And I got some glue coming through the other side, which is good, especially if it dries like that. I'm going to go turn it over. Oops. There it is. And if you wait, you know, a few minutes. Uh, it'll start to tack, get tacky, and it'll, it'll stay there. You can balance it there like that and let it dry. Uh, another trick you can do is you can take some uh, tape, use the tape to keep it, keep that the pencil sticking up straight just temporarily while it dries because your pencil has a flat top to it, if it since it's not sharpened. Um, it actually does stand up straight. Now, if you do use your hot glue gun, uh, this will be pretty instant. Uh, you'll have it um, tack on there and then even with the hot glue gun you might want to wait a good uh, five to ten minutes for it to to harden again with this one that's already done you can see what kind of looks like when the glue uh, finished drying and then if you want to reinforce that you can put some more glue right there uh, in the middle and kind of build it up a little bit uh, and let it dry some more Okay, so for the sake of time though, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to use the hot glue gun, assemble this one together. Okay, so a couple ways I can do this. I could start by putting a little uh, glue around this the center hole right there. The center hole right there, I'm going to put glue around it. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put it right there in the middle. Okay, remember I can look on the other side to see if I got it right in the middle there. And some of the glue is coming through, which is fine. All right. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit before I let go of it. Once it's it's uh, hardened a little bit, I can go and reinforce it by putting some more some more glue around the base here. Once it once it cools off enough, I can just give it a little bit more 